Okay, so let's say you have a large simulation that you want to render on two computers at the same time. What I recommend is just to split the render into two frame intervals. So uh, first you need to select a folder for the final animation. I'm just going to create the first folder for the first computer. So uh, let's call it render PC1. And then select the folder. Give it a name and then accept. And then on this first computer, we're going to render from frame one to a thousand. And then for moving this blend file to the second computer, you first need to make sure that everything is saved to the blend file. If you have any simulations, make sure to bake the simulation. Then we can save the file and then start the render on the first computer. Then on the second computer, you can once again open the same blend file. And then this time we're going to render from frame 1001 to frame 2000. And then start to render on the second computer. And then we can put the render images from both computers in the same folder. And then open the folder in Blender. So go to Add, Image. And then select the folder where you combined the images from both computers. And then make sure they start from frame one. As you can see, now I have the final render. So next you need to make sure that the output resolution matches the render resolution. So it's 4K in this case. And then set the end frame to the end of the animation. And because we're going to convert these PNGs to an MP4 file, we can just leave the default file format. And then for the encoding, I like to set the output quality to perceptually lossless, which is uh, good enough. And then select the folder for where you want the uh, MP4 file to end up. Then I'm just going to call it final sim. Then we can set the frame rate. I like to set it to either 30 or 60. And then you can just go to render and then render animation. I also have some videos on how you can share computing power and use other people's computing power by using a community render farm.